Okay, so I got two uh, ECMO stigmas here. I had four knocked out actually. I'm a sex employee. Let's try to get this. I don't know if I can. Okay. This one appears to be a male. You can see that pointy thing right in the front there towards this way, that's what he uses to uh, um, make the little sperm web with. Now this one, let me see, this one, see if I can get it, yeah. This appears to be female, there's no, it looks almost the same, but there's no uh, pointy thing up front to make the uh, sperm web. Whereas with this one, there obviously is. See the difference I'm talking about. I hope you can see in the video. I'm really trying to get it to focus here. There. Yeah, my last sexing video lacked um, two individuals to do it with. But there's also a difference in length on these I'm going to show you. Um, the female, this is interesting, um, is right about, let me get it all together, straight where it should be. Okay. Female is under four inches. Um, there we go. When just relaxed, whereas the male is uh, over four inches, just slightly. Let me just straighten him out here. Get him right on. Actually, he's right at four inches, but he's a little skinnier, and the female's a little thicker. Um, but I really hope this video helped because you can actually see the difference in uh, sex and there is a very minor difference of course but yeah so that's our male and our female ethmostigmus trignopotus and that's how you sex a centipede and use little plastic cups like I showed you before with holes in the lid where you can feed water through it makes it real easy uh, but yeah that's my YouTube video thanks